Hello, welcome back to Beno Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm going to share with you this uh, this setup, which is basically a combination of extrude region node, extrude separate faces, and extrude multi extrude uh, from add on. This is a quite interesting setup, and it's actually super simple. But you end up with something pretty interesting like this. Uh, it looks like a spinner thing that you uh, you found these days. If you go out, um, you can buy this kind of thing at toy store or Chinatown. But anyhow, this is a setup I did using Spatchok add-on and in Blender. Um, you can kind of do a lot of thing. And if you have three D printer, this is actually kind of something uh, interesting that you can print out. I think. It's not exactly like a spinner thing, uh, but of course you can create something like that. And see, look at this. It looks like a like a moving creature. So anyway, um, yeah, let's build this from scratch real quick. I'll try to do this as quick as possible. We're gonna start with an end gun, and let's give it like a viewer draw so we can see what we are creating. So end gun is an end gun. It's like a polygon flat shapes. For what we are doing, we need to extrude it up at least once. So extrude region should be what we need. For this, we don't need multiple extrude, just um, along normal, lift it up. You can also use a solidify actually. Scale, actually you don't need to scale it. Actually, yeah, leave it like this. Let's save this uh, real quick. So this is a weird, uh, actually this is like SV combo extrude. So we have like uh, three main extrusion nodes in Spherecho. Extrude region, kind of uh, extrude based on a region. The second one that I like to use is the extrude separate faces. Of course, is a, um, this can be really useful if you you can even use this to do a poke. So poke, you can just use this and here it's already generating something quite interesting. Even like a star, what is it, a starfish, you can do, you can use this to create a starfish. Even though the middle part, see in this case we don't want to have the middle part, the top part and the bottom part shouldn't extrude. So for that we need to do some kind of masking. There is this mask option here that uh, you always need to take care of if you need to otherwise it's gonna extrude from every polygon face so let's use list input and um, I'm just using list input for now um, there there are a way um, smarter way to do this but let's just do this for now so we have seven polygon face from this guy and if we put the mask in there we have nothing. Nothing will be extruded. But if we try, okay, that's actually giving that face to be extruded. That should be zero. And that's the top part. So the rest of them should come and should have the value of one. So this actually works really well. If you increase the polygon face, you, have, you, you, uh, you need to be careful. But I think it's safe to say this should work anyway because this uh, will fill up itself um, with one, I believe. That's the default. So let's put it back to five for our spinner. Yeah, and this is pretty cool. Nice. And that's the second extrusion. And for the one that we need for the next one, actually, extrude, multi extrude, we actually. We don't want to use the whole polygon face. Again, we need to do some kind of uh, decision here. I think we only need to extrude the extruded poly. So let's have a look. What is extruded poly? Extruded poly is only the last part there. So that's what we need for the next extrusion. Remember to clean it up. Um, I'm not sure if you need to clean it up, but I, I will clean it up anyway. Sometimes it's a good idea to keep the points. Um, depends on what you're doing. 
so let's plug that in this guy show it uh, didn't show anything because we need another face masking face masking face masking we're gonna do it for every single one let me try plug that in oh okay so one two Well, see, that's weird. It doesn't seem to work. I think this face mask needs a list. It's a it needs a range integer. Actually, I was wrong. This face mask is uh, you fit in a list of index of number. So what you need is not like zero one. It's like a, not a true and false. It's not a mask. This is the actual face index. So we need a 0 to 5, I believe. 5 is the last uh, phase. So list, uh, list range, okay, list length should be the number of polygon phase here and plug this into the count, okay? So that, by doing that, if we increase the number of polygon face it will still work cool okay and we are almost pretty much done here yeah so you can see that's the result and we have this kind of a star starfish creature that we can play around with maybe scale it up or scale it down if you scale it up it's almost like uh, the fidget spinner thing again you can definitely um, make some tweak and turn this into a proper fidget spinner that you can print out. Um, you can do some crazy thing, you know, add uh, some kind of noise, some kind of rot crazy rotation, randomize the seed. Yeah, so you can repeat it many times. Not too many. It's weird. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, you know. That doesn't need to be fancy. So you can always go back, play around with this height and scaling. You have different design. You can... Uh, okay, this just keep this one alone. You can play with the radius. It's affecting everything at the back. Increase the side. You said this is always the most interesting part. So if you want something that's uh, really clean, um, you need to clean up this this part here. So currently it's looking like this. Um, what you really want, probably the one from here. So this one is actually hollow, you see? That's hollow and then the one here also kind of hollow over there so what's if you want to clean this up you can just combine the two so list join so this guy and this guy that's the vertices and the polygon information and then you use mesh join Plug that in. Hopefully this works. Plug that in and plug that in. That's the final result. Give it a different color. Okay. To be really clean, um, delete loose. Oh, actually, that's interesting. Actually, uh, like this. Okay, and remove double. Remove double also clean up overlapping points. Okay, that seems pretty good. Bake it, smooth it, and there you go. That's your perfect um, kind of a starfish creature. Yeah, but I think this can be potentially become like a like a fidget spinner toy. Really, if you have 3D printer, try this, please, and then 
let me know the result. Um, yeah, I give this a go. It's very interesting kind of design. Uh, maybe you know, play around with this uh, randomness here. This is very very cool. Randomize the seed. Uh, I don't know. I think this is the beginning of uh, some kind of really beautiful looking starfish creature. I know this is pretty random, you know, but still, it's just very experimental. But a lot of like uh, good design comes from simply just by experimenting. So you can have like a ninja spinner or something. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's very simple. You just use a couple of extruding nodes and you have this extrude combo. This is, uh, I'll call this sprint. Spreadshock Spinner MK2, Starfish Spinner. Um, hopefully you find this useful and fun. Let me know what you think. Any question, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video.